Hi guys, so we're going to now practice the electrostatics. If you would like to pause this video and try it yourself, go ahead, but please be aware I have added a few little catches to make sure you understand what you're doing. So we know that two charges will attract or repel each other. There is a formula that we can use that allows us to calculate that, where k is a constant of 9 times 10 to the 9. Now here's catch number 1. This 4 is in nanocoulombs. Now in the previous lesson I showed you that you need to know how to convert from nanocoulombs to coulombs. And those are times 10 to the minus 3, times 10 to the minus 6, times 10 to the minus 9, and times 10 to the minus 12. So the 4 is a nanocoulomb. So you're going to write 4 times 10 to the minus 9. Then for the microcoulomb, it's going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 3. Notice you mustn't put a negative in the actual formula. Then the distance, here's another catch. The distance must always be in meters. And so I've got many students who always ask, oh, Kevin, how many centimeters are there in a meter? Uh, you must remember this, guys. So you need to divide that by 100. And so that's going to be 1.5 meters. Then catch number three, always remember to put the square. And so you get 0.032 newtons. Now we have a positive charge and a negative charge. And so they will attract each other. And so I'm just going to say attraction. So here's the next example. So here they give you the two charges. They give you the force between them as well, but what they don't give you is the distance. And so you still use the same formula and you just fill in whatever you have. So the force we now have as 0.05. K is a constant that is always going to be given to you. Q1 is 4 times 10 to the minus 9. And then Q2 is 2 times 10 to the minus 3. And remember, it doesn't matter which one of these you do first. Then the distance, we don't know. And so we say x squared. Always remember the square. Now a nice way to solve this is to take this over. So you cross multiply it there. So you end up with 0.05x squared. I'm just going to leave this all as it is so that we can do everything on the calculator in one step just now. Next would be to just divide by 0 0.05, and there we have it. And so you can go type this on your calculator, and so you end up with 1,44, and then you just take the square root. And so x is going to be equal to the square root of 1.44. So therefore, x is equal to 1.2. 1.2 what? The unit is meters. And so the last one for this lesson is here they give us the force between them, they don't give us, I mean, they give us the distance, but they don't give us the charge, but they've used x for both. And so both of those charges are the same. So you just go full everything in wherever you can. So the 0 0.05 is the force. The constant of k is always going to be 9 times 10 to the 9. q1 will just say x. q2, we can also say x. Remember, we don't include the negative. And the distance is 2. Please remember the square. So now we know that x times x is just x squared. If you sometimes want to say 2x, don't worry, I've got students who do that. So it's x squared. And now we can take this over to that side. So it's 0 0.05 multiplied by 2 squared is just 4. And that's going to equal 9 times 10 to the 9x squared. We can then divide this on the other side. So it'll be 0 0.05 times 4 over 9 times 10 to the 9 equals to x squared. And so that's going to give you 2.22 times 10 to the minus 11. And so to get x by itself, you would have to square root 2.22 times 10 to the minus 11. And that will give you 4.71 times 10 to the minus 6. And remember, we are now looking for charge. And the SI unit of charge is Coulomb. And so this one would be 4.71 times 10 to the minus 6, and this one would have a charge of minus 4.71 times 10 to the minus 6. Thank you for watching.